What's up guys, Samsung Galaxy S11 have some of its key features leaked and here we are going to take a look at them so as we all know that the latest device from Samsung till now are the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus and not 10 Plus but it not ends up here it's time for the major flagship the upcoming flagship from Samsung the Samsung Galaxy S11 and S11 could come with major upgrades as comparing it to its predecessor S10 Plus We've got leaks regarding S11 cameras that next year Samsung phone could house the quad camera setup which will absolutely has its own 108 megapixel camera sensor that we have already seen on the recently released Xiaomi Mi Mix Alpha that just blows up every person with its shocking 4D surround display so you can go for that video I've uploaded it on my channel so along with the 108 megapixel camera s11 will also have the 5x optical zoom and 50 or 60x digital zoom unlike digital zoom optical zoom offers a much higher quality by not cropping down on the image to get closer however optical zoom requires more distance and lens elements which makes placing it in a slim phone and this is going to be the first samsung galaxy flagship phone to have 108 megapixel camera this would be the first time a samsung flagship uses a periscope style zoom camera it is certainly not the first phone to do so previously we have seen chinese brands such as oppo and huawei use these this style of camera in their phones like we have seen it on oppo reno series and huawei p30 pro that all just proves that we will see much competitive cameras on s11 than the iphone 11 pro but it could be hard to take over the mate 30 pro cameras as huawei mate 30 pro has just got the highest dxo mark score that is 121 and it is proved that it captures really great shots even in very much low light conditions as it has been tested by dxo mark but 108 megapixel sensor samsung could do anything next report is regarding the in-display fingerprint scanner samsung has already used its ultrasonic fingerprint scanner on its two major flagships the note 10 plus and s10 plus that are the latest from samsung and in s11 we will see much upgraded under display fingerprint sensor with more speed and accuracy this time samsung is just expanding the size of fingerprint sensing on the display of s11 and fingerprint sensors on note 10 plus and s10 plus covers almost 36 square millimeter of area but on this s11 it will be expanded to 64 square millimeter and we will have more place to use the fingerprint scanner on s11 display and it is known as active area dimension aad so we can say that s11 will expand its active area dimension to the half of bottom so that you will have easy access to place finger on it so that's all regarding the s11 leaks if i will get more updates about this s11 i will make a video and till that stay tuned by subscribing and i will catch you guys in the next one